everybody, Trevor here, and welcome to the first installment of Disney Month. You see, the Walt Disney Company was founded on October 16, 1923, and we are in the 100th anniversary of it right now. So that's why for this month, we will be discussing Disney topics only. Our first topic of the month will be on my Top 5 Mickey Mouse characters. You may remember in my Top 5 Classic Shorts video where I placed various Disney shorts as number 3. And I mostly talked about the Donald Duck shorts as one of the examples. But I haven't talked about most of the other main characters, which I'll get into right now, starting with... Number 5. Mickey Mouse himself. Ah yes, Mickey Mouse. Not only is he the main hero of the Mickey Mouse franchise, but he's basically the big cheese when it comes to the Walt Disney Company in general. Fun fact, did you know that Walt Disney created him because he lost the rights to Oswald? and that he wanted to create a cartoon that's revolutionary by using sound? Learn something new every day, am I right? However, the reason why he's number 5 is because he's the main icon of Disney, and if he were number 1 on this list, then it would be too cliched. Oh, and one last thing. I think all the voices for Mickey Mouse were great, whether it be Walt Disney himself, Brett Iwan, or even the late Wayne Allwine who sadly passed away in 2009. Yeah, that was a tough year in my opinion. Coming at number 4 is Pete. When it comes to Mickey Mouse villains, Pete would be my number 1 favorite of the bunch. What I like about this character is that he's basically the equivalent of Devious Diesel from Thomas and Friends when it comes to his schemes. Also, no offense to Billy Bletcher or any of the other previous voices of the character, but I think Jim Cummings will always be the absolute best one for Pete because not only he made him sound even more hilarious, but it sounds crisper and clearer compared to his first voice actor from the golden days. In addition, when I first saw him in Kingdom Hearts 2, I was surprised that he's one of the main villains and acts as Maleficent's trusty sidekick, though I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get to fight him in Kingdom Hearts 3. Coming at number 3 is Goofy. I don't know about you, but I think Goofy's hilarious. In terms of his character, he's a lot like Ed from Ed and Nettie, as well as Patrick Starr from Spongebob, you know, without the unlikability. My point is, unlike Patrick Starr, who is a complete moron and a prick, Goofy here is just, well, Goofy. And he's also an anthropomorphic dog. Speaking of dogs, Goofy was originally named Dippy Dog from one of the earlier Mickey Mouse shorts, but was changed to Goofy and was a primary Mickey Mouse character ever since. In addition, when it comes to Disney shorts starring the character, one of my absolute favorites was the short where he becomes a crazy car driver and goes on a road rage. It's basically a comedic version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I especially enjoyed his own show back in the 1990s known as Goof Troop, which is one of my favorites by the way. All in all, Goofy is Goofy, and those are all the reasons why he deserves the number 3 spot. Coming at number 2 is Donald Duck. I've put Donald Duck as number 2 because I've talked about some of the Donald Duck shorts in one of my top 5s, but what makes him the most hilarious is his short-tempered attitude, as well as his funny-sounding voice. One of the best Donald Duck shorts in my opinion was Out of Scale, where he had a live steam railroad near his house, just like Walt Disney did a long time ago. Another example of a great Donald Duck short was in the Mickey Mouse Work show known as Donald's Dinner Date, where Daisy was trying to teach his boyfriend Donald not to lose his temper. But the deal ends abruptly when she lost her temper, while Donald lost his afterwards due to a huge bill he had to pay. Let's look at one more, and this is a series of shorts known as Donald's Dynamite, where Donald had to deal with a random bomb that appears in random places, and had to either defuse it, or just get rid of it, but it always ends up blowing the duck up in the end. I like these shorts because they're just like the dynamite gags in Looney Tunes. Now, as much as I enjoy the other duck characters in the franchise, but I still consider Donald Duck to be my favorite of the bunch because of these reasons alone. Now, before I get to my number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck. I enjoy these two characters, don't get me wrong, but the reason they didn't make it was because they're basically gender swap versions of Mickey and Donald, which is fine, but at the same time, it's kind of lazy. And I normally don't collect girly stuff because I'm a guy. But still, they're great characters regardless. I also think they're excellent girlfriends of Mickey and Donald. Mortimer Mouse. 
he would be my second favorite antagonist in terms of Mickey Mouse adventures. And I honestly think that Maurice LaMarche is the best voice of the character. But he got beat out by Pete because I wanted to include at least one Mickey Mouse villain. Also, it would have been nice if he were to appear in Kingdom Hearts as Maleficent's secondary sidekick. Scrooge McDuck. As cool as this character is, especially in DuckTales, but for the sake of this list, I want to pick at least one duck character, and that will be Donald. Chip and Dale. As cute as they are, they would have been number one. Oh, and speaking of number one, my number one all-time favorite Mickey Mouse character is... Pluto! There is an obvious reason why I put Pluto as number one. It's because he's Mickey's pet dog, and some of you guys already know that I'm a dog lover. Pluto is a well-trained and intelligent dog who tends to dislike cats like Figaro. There are often episodes where he tries to win a crush, which usually ends well, but other times, it doesn't. He's also one of those many Disney characters that I can sympathize with the most. For example, I sometimes feel bad when Chip and Dale play mischief on him in some cartoons, and other times, I feel bad for him when he gets scolded by his owner Mickey Mouse, whether it was his fault or not. Yeah, I don't like it when that happens. But Mickey isn't always like that to Pluto. In fact, there were times when he misses Pluto and goes out searching for him like in Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, for instance. Another instance of good Pluto cartoons includes the series of shorts known as Pluto Gets the Paper, where Mickey asks Pluto if he wants to get the newspaper from the mail. Pluto happily agrees, but when he tries to get the paper, various antics happen like getting trapped in cement, getting abducted by aliens, or getting sucked inside a street sweeper. But in the end, he managed to deliver the paper to his owner as if nothing had happened. All in all, Pluto is not only cute, but also a very funny, smart, and loyal dog. In fact, he's one of my favorite dog characters, which I might do a top 5 on someday. And those are the reasons why he deserves the number 1 spot. Now let me know in the comment section below on which of these Mickey Mouse characters are your favorite. Do you agree with my list, or do you have your own personal preference? And if there is anything that I could have elaborated on or could have done better, then let me know too. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.